In this video, we're going to have a look at the new limiter in Ableton Live 12.1. So this is the new limiter. You haven't already seen it. You'll notice it looks completely different from Ableton Live's previous limiter. Now, I'm sure if you've been using Ableton Live for a while, you'll know Ableton Live's previous limiter wasn't that great. The sound of it didn't really stack up against third party limiters that are out there. If you look here on Ableton's release notes, it, you can see it says the limiter effect has been completely overhauled both in sound and appearance. An improved envelope makes limiters release smoother, which is especially noticeable when longer release times are used. What does that mean? <laughs> let's find out. Okay, let's go back to... So this is set up like our previous limiter. We have an input gain and then we have a ceiling. We set the ceiling here, which is minus 0.3 increase it by dragging it up or down. Then to get limiting from our track, we increase the gain until we see some gain reduction. So let's go ahead and do that. Cool. So let's hear how the old limiter used to sound. And I'm going to increase the release time and see if we can hear a difference. And you can do that by going up here and going legacy smooth, smooth legacy smoothing. That's how you say it. This will put it back to the old limiters release settings. So let's try that. This new smoothening sounds just a little bit more open. That's the only way I can describe it. Now let's look at the maximize feature here. So how this works is when I turn down the threshold, if it's turning down the peaks by say 2 dB, it will then amplify the output stage of the limiter plus 2 dB. So for every dB of gain reduction you do, it amplifies the overall output. So I'm going to bring down the threshold until it's doing around about the same amount of limiting as the usual way. And then our AB between the two. So here we go. Okay, so I'm not sure if you heard that, but essentially when you go to maximize, it feels a lot more squashed up against the ceiling, making it sound a lot fuller, but you lose that dynamic range. So depending on your, your taste and the style of music you're working with will depend on which option you work with and just play around with it to taste. Next, we have a link. So this links the, the stereo loudness. So if one side is a lot louder than the other, it's basically going to limit them the same. It means it can make it a little bit quieter. I generally like to unlink the sides. Not one of the sides is affecting the other. It can make it sound, in my ears, a little bit more open. Then you have your look ahead standard feature. Then the other new feature we have here is we've got three different types of limiting. We have our standard limiting, soft clip and true peak. Now, standard limiting works like a standard limiter. Now, you have a ceiling and it says it doesn't let anything through, but it lets a little bit through. It lies to you. And this gives it a generally a bit more of an open sound. A true peak doesn't let anything through. It's an absolute cutoff. Now, this can make it sound a little bit closed, but the benefit of having a true peak is if you're working, say, with like CD, things like that, you really don't want anything going above the threshold. Otherwise, you're going to get clips and horrible sounds when you convert the audio into another format. But if you're just working with digital stuff, as long as you've got a ceiling here, so like 0.3, usually that's enough to catch any of those rogue invisible peaks that go above it. And that's why we have a little bit of a, a ceiling there. We're not going to absolute zero. And that way it's just going to sound a little bit more open, a little bit more dynamic. I mean, it's very small but it's there. Soft clip is gonna make it sound a bit more crunchier. And then we have a routing, we have left and right or mid side. So let's see what these different options sound like. Okay, so let's go for standard and then I'll go through soft clip, true peak. I'll try and over limit it so you can hear what it's doing to the waveform. And then I'll flick between mid side and see, see what it sounds like.
okay, so I was proper pushing it there, don't worry. I'm not going to master anybody's song like that. Um, hopefully you can hear standard, sounds a little bit more open. True Peak again, sounds a little bit squashed, but soft clip, it's got that crunchy sound to it. So there's the new limiter in Ableton Live, a really welcomed upgrade. If you're working in Ableton Live 11 still, this is really going to make you consider upgrading, I think. If you'd like to see what other upgrades there are in Ableton Live 12.1 and above, want to check out this playlist. Also, if you'd like to learn Ableton Live with me, want to check out my course. Link is in